Welcome to Lord Howe Island, St. Fusco. You get the feeling as you walk into the school grounds that this is just a really nice place to learn. You get to be independent and you get to organise yourself. There's no teachers that tell you what to do and you're pretty much free. The students receive a well-rounded education with access to modern technology, sporting equipment and the World Heritage environment that surrounds them, which is well supported by the Marine Park and Lord Howe Island board staff. We involve the school in many projects throughout the year. The McCulloch's Anatomy Fish Project at Ned's Beach. Uh, the school kids help us with that every year doing uh, transects in the same location so we run out a 50 metre tape to count their host anemone so that's the soft bodied animal that um, has lots of tentacles that the um, anemone fish need to survive. And monitoring down at um, South Reef that we did with the Northern Central School is a really important part of our community monitoring and also long term monitoring. So the clams here are you know, actually a subspecies of the giant clam, so um, there's not that many of them in the marine park. And um, we run our own research projects as well, so we look at the turtle monitoring, um, the effects of fish feeding in the marine park. The Lord Howe Island Board Environment Unit also involves the schooling project. We think it's important to involve the school kids of Lord Howe because weeds don't know the boundaries. It's important that the children know how to control them in their backyard as much as uh, how we control them out in the bushland. Yeah, basically if you choose to ignore the problem, it's not going to go away. And it's important that children can learn to identify the differences. Um, basically, if we don't do anything, um, weeds are going to continue to grow. They're going to compromise the biodiversity. So there's a lot to lose here if we don't and educate the children. The school is dedicated to maintaining sustainability. We are leading the way in having installed a 5 kilowatt solar electricity producer on our library roof. At other schools, it's way bigger and you don't know who you're talking to, you don't know the person. But with here, it's so small so you know everyone. We've had fantastic presenters visit the school to teach the students gymnastics and dance. Alice and Lester came to share her wonderful talents. There are also lots of islanders who come to the school to share island traditions in the hope they will not die out, such as basket weaving, palm tree climbing and palm seeding. The island has many traditions, one being Discovery Day, which starts with a fish fry hosted by the school, followed by a night of games, barrel rolling being one of the highlights. The best part about being school captain is probably having a really big say in like goal day and fundraisers. It's a fun and happy vibe here at the school. Students are offered heaps of interesting opportunities from marching and singing on Anzac Day to their annual events which include climbing Mount Gawa and swimming to another island. They play lots of organised school sport and participate in a diverse range of other interesting activities. Lord Howe Island Central School is a great school. It's a great school for a lot of reasons, but it's probably the best reason we're a great school is because we are like no other school probably in the world, let alone New South Wales. We're the most remote school in New South Wales and we have to do things that no other school has to do. You've had a bit of a look at the playground that we have, and by playground and classroom, I don't mean just what's inside our school. Our island is an amazing place. It's a world heritage area and we try and utilise that for lots of learning and for also for lots of fun.